بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل سو ٹوڈیز ویڈیو از اباؤٹ لوکنگ فار ایررز ان گوزین آؤٹ پٹ فائلس سم ٹائمز یو رن اے کیلکولیشن اینڈ یو اینڈ اپ ود سم ایرر ان دی آؤٹ پٹ فائل لائک ایف یو اوپن دس فائل اٹ ول گیو یو ایرر اینڈ it's it's not telling you much information here like sometime it will tell you something about connection and it will tell you that this line number has some error or even some other weird kind of word so that's all about uh, uh, that's all about the program or programming language errors but Uh, what is the actual error in your molecule you have to look for it in the log file or the output file of the uh, software so there can be different kinds of errors i have a few files with error over here so i'll just uh, look into them and uh, tell you how to look for the error so if you have an error don't open the file in the gauss view instead open the file with the notepad plus plus Note, notepad plus plus is a very handy tool actually i really like it so if you move to the end of the file this is quite simple error um it's due to due to the input file actually so it says end of file reading connectivity uh, so if i open the input file of this uh, error file you can see that in the uh, in the route card uh, we have given it geom is equal to connectivity but um, when we look at the bottom of the file you see no connectivity data here so in that case the error is due to this either we remove geom is equal to connectivity keyword or we add the connectivity data then this error will be uh, removed so that's a uh, one kind of error now let's have a look sometimes you get an error like uh, number of uh, steps exceeded and optimization stopped in that uh, case it means that uh, there are a default number of scf cycles if the software has gone through those default scf cycles but has not uh, found the converged structure it will stop the optimization and uh, Uh, in such cases either you can uh, get uh, a keyword with the max cycles and increase the number of cycles or you can also select a different structure uh, calculate the force constants and uh, move from there as well so let's have a look at another file this one over here and if i move to the bottom of this file you see that uh, search did not lower the energy significantly no lower point found run about it this is quite weird error actually and uh, in such cases uh, i don't think that it there is a really uh, very helpful scenario you can also go and look for uh, such error like i copy this and uh, i google it i may find something useful on the internet as well and that's really a good idea always to look for let's let's open this link and uh, see that uh, someone else has also got this error and posted it on the research gate and many people have also answered it over there uh, sometimes like this problem indicates a failed linear search people usually advise to use larger integration grid you can use this uh, uh, ultra fine grid or you can also uh, have other option like uh, it is also advised to add integral is equal to this option but if you don't want to change your model chemistry maybe adding options like scf is equal to full linear or setting maximum number to a different value may help so either you can increase the scf iterations uh, number or you can use a finer grid or you can add these options to your uh, route card and then you can uh, run this calculation to uh, optimize it successfully so 
uh, googling something is really helpful always uh, copy and paste that error code into google and see what it says don't tell google the like a, a severe error or run aborted or such kind of errors that gauss view shows instead look for the error keywords in the output file like this one and uh, copy those to the to google and it will tell you about that error so let's open another file if we go to bottom of this file what's in there let's have a look so yes in this case uh, torsion failed for dihedral uh, this this is a an error which is also quite common for some structures and if i google it let's have a look Yeah, someone has asked on ResearchGate about the same question. So, popular answers. Here is the popular answer. The problem with your calculation was stated before is only a failure in the redundant coordinate system. So, yes, Gaussian uh, builds the redundant coordinates automatically uh, when starting each calculation. And uh, if the angles of some uh, some dihedrals become close to 180 degree, the algorithm fails. So in this case, there is nothing wrong with the calculation. But what you can do is either just take the last structure and restart the calculation, and uh, Gaussian will build the redundant coordinates itself, or uh, you can. Uh, either you optimize it in Z matrix or Cartesian coordinates or some some other system as well, but that's not really a good choice. So in, the the best solution in this case is just to restart the calculation for, from the last structure. Just take the last structure, make the calculation again, and run it. It will solve the problem because uh, when Gaussian will make the new redundant coordinate system, this error will just go away by itself. So Let's have a look at the last file. What's in there? Move to end. So this is kind of same error, but it's just uh, that the calculation is going into a linear fashion like uh, uh, quadratic convergence. SCF is uh, converging through quadratic uh, convergence system. So that is why this error is shown in this way. So the basic idea of this video was to tell you how to search, look for errors and how to uh, search those errors on Google. So you can see that here is, uh, there are different uh, helpful things written on in your log file, which you can see, and then you can, uh, uh, you can find the solution to your error very quickly. So always look in the log file, find the error, and then Google it and then you will find uh, that there are many people on the internet who have uh, been through this error and they would have asked for help and someone would have helped them. So uh, the best scenario is to look on the Google and uh, it will tell you about the errors. So if you have any more question about it, you can post in the comment section and uh, I'll try to answer it as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching and bye-bye. Uh,